Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain you how to use some of the extra commands of the section modify. They will be lengthen, break and align. Command lengthen. As you may guess, this is used to modify the length of lines or line sections that are part of a polyline. I'm going to click in this arrow and then the command is this one. Just click on it. If you look to the command bar, you can see several ways to modify the length of the line. At this moment, I will insert the total length, which is displayed here. So, I will click in this line and I'm going to type the new total length. For example, 60. I press enter. And as you see, the new length is bigger than the current one. And if I click at the right, the line will extend to this side. Otherwise, if I want it to the left, I click in the other half part of the line. OK, let's activate the command again. And this time I will type DE to choose the option Delta. With this, I will type a value to add to the current length. If I type 20, now I go to this line and the line will increase 20 more, to the left or to the right, like before. To shorten the line, I could simply insert a negative value. And if I don't press enter right now, I could uh, continue increasing it with the number that I inserted before. Another way is percent. Simply, I insert a percentage length. If I type 70, for example, the new length of the line will be 70% of its original one. So 30% less. Finally, I can use the option dynamic. I type dy, press enter. I click in the line that I want to change and, as you see, I can extend it by moving just my pointer. If I want until this vertical line, I can click here using the object snap point. Ok, now I'm going to tell you about the command break. There are two types, break and break at a point. First, I start with the command break. And with this, I will create a gap between two points in a line or a polyline. I click on it. Now I'm going to this rectangle. I click on it. And the place where I clicked was automatically considered the first point. And the thing is that this was without any precision. So if I type F, I can reinsert the first point. So I'm going to this place and I can click here outside the object and it will be projected to its closest point. Then I can click again for the second point. Here it is. Now we show you the icon break at a point. In this case I select first the object and then I only need to click in one point. For example, if I go here, I click, the polyline is split between this point and the origin, as you see here. Now I will show you the command align. It's this one. And with this, I can align an object with another one. I will show you. First, I select the object that I want to move, this one. I press enter and then I select the source point. It can be this one. And after the point where I want to move that object, this. After, I can select a second point. And imagine that I decided I want this point here. I click. And then if I press enter, 
I will be asked if I want to scale the objects based on the alignment points. And this is because if I want to move these points to the places that I indicated, that rectangle has to be resized. So if I say no, that I don't want, the object didn't change the size and it was connected with the first point. Going back, if I would click yes, you can see that the object was scaled in order to connect both points. Now I show you the same, but the second point, I want to connect it to this other side of the square. So the line segment between the first and second points will be aligned between the first and second points of the second object. And if I click in no to not scale, it makes a ro rotation like this. Therefore, if I click in yes to scale, this is the result. So it was everything in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cut in Black to watch all the other content or AutoCAD. Also, I can provide online private lessons by Google Hangouts, so if you are interested, just send me an email and I will tell you all the details. So, thank you and see you next time.